I've had this piece of elder log sitting in my workshop for several years. I thought it might be fun to make a wand. Now don't get too excited, this is just going to be an elder wand. The indefinite article. Many trees have some sort of core of pith in the centre of the branches. This is usually discarded for woodworking, and workpieces are cut from quarters. But with elder, the pith is often exploited as a feature and hollowed out to make musical instruments and pipes. I'm going to try to use it to create a hollow core for my wand. I cut out the straightest section of the log and planed it roughly octagonal, and then mounted it on my little drill-powered lathe. A lot of people ask me about this little setup. It was made by Wolfcraft. You can't buy these anymore, but they do occasionally pop up on eBay. It's a bit limited in what you can actually do, but it's perfectly okay for small spindle work, like we're attempting today. My personal preference for wands, if I have one, is for the plainer, less ornate type. So I'm just going for a simple tapered rod with a handle. I turned the rough shape and left the size a little bit on the large side. There's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, because elder's quite fibrous and the grain tends to tear, especially when turning a whole branch like this but also because I needed to be really careful not to break through into that pith cavity running down the center. I took it down to the final size using coarse sandpaper. The pith is about six millimeters in diameter, so this limits how thin I can take it. But I quite like the size and shape I ended up with. Then I worked up through the grits to 240 to leave a nice satin finish. I quickly bodged a couple of small plugs that I'll use to stop up the ends. Making them gently tapered like this means I can be sure of a snug fit without too much measuring. The pith inside the core is just like soft foam, so it can very easily be poked out of a piece this length by just repeatedly jabbing with a skewer or wire. Once it's all gone, we can see right through the middle, nice and straight. For the core of the wand, I'm using the most magical sounding object I could lay hands on. This is a mermaid's purse. I found this on a local beach last summer. So this bit here is mermaid's purse string, and that's what we're going to use. I glued the plug into the tip of the wand and then took all four of the mermaid's purse strings and carefully threaded them into the core. Then I plugged the handle end and waited for the glue to dry. A quick trim, a little more sanding and a thin coat of Danish oil and we're all done. Very happy with this end result, and as I said, it's not at all ornate, but that's what I like. So the only question now is, does it work? Let's give it a go. Ravina John Barossa. Actually, it's Warosa, not Barossa. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>